Welcome back to the black market. The number one show amongst black people that had to wear church shocks <laughs> when they wasn't going to church. <laughs> Did you know that? Man, I can believe it, I'll tell you that. Okay, so you said so you got the whole grandbabies at the house. Yeah, so that's one of my favorite breeds, you know, the the, the, the bullies. But I like working class dogs, you know, I like dogs. Working class dogs. Hey, working class, you Like know. German Shepherds? I like dogs with jobs. Yeah, you know, dogs that, that can pay their rent, you know? Yeah. Mm. You been to the Atlanta airport, they got the little, uh, they got these little beagle dogs. They look like puppies, but they drug dogs. Yeah, man. They don't be trust tricking them. people like they puppies, so don't they trust just. Them. Exactly. I'll tell you, they'll figure out what you ate yesterday. They, they, them nose is good, boy. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you. This money onions on your bro. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hire you, bro. My brother got a little mean ass dog at the house. I'm with it, bro. I'm with it. Whatever you need, and that's what I'm here. How like, long it take to train them? So me, um, I only do. Right now, I'm booked for in-home training until like January. Oh well, he gonna be too. Dead. But like I said, I do boarding training programs. So a lot of my clients now they do 30-day boarding trains. The dog stays with me within, within my actual home live with me, you know, we, we socialize, I train it, I work it, we might go to Home Depot, do our thing, and I really just make it an overall dog until you figure out you want to do protection work or not. Just in here with the door unlocked. Fuck wrong with you, Thad? Man, he... Thad, boy. Thad on some other shit. Bruh, ever since he got that little role as the murderer, he That's been acting funny, man. <laughs> you ain't seen this show? No. I'm gonna see it soon. Yeah, man. He he got, he on there. He, he did it. it too. You don't even know what it's on. You said the murder. You ain't seen it? Nah. Bruh, they, go to Thad Instagram, man. He on there. He getting interrogated. <laughs> you know how they be doing them crime reenactment shows? Yeah. He this is like his second time being a killer on there. Oh, yeah. I'm proud of him. At least you're doing something. You know Sarah what I'm saying? Shoot, him, hey. Man, I, you, bro, you should be, bro, listen. America, y'all need to rock with Lowe's, man. He can act, he can rap, he got it all, man. He can do it everything. Hey, he got the voiceover, <laughs> everything. For real. He can do it all, man. The voiceovers, the characters, he got it. He got it. Ain't he, it crazy he got it. how you know that? Because I watch you, I understand, You know what bro. that means? What's up, bro? They know it, too. They need to. Shoot. Yeah. I ain't in no hurry though, bro. I, just, I get a lot of opportunities that people don't necessarily know about because it takes so long for this shit to actually happen. You a boss, man. Happen. Everything got to manifest. Right. So they're going to be real surprised when they do see the shit like, wow. that I do be working on. This but it's like I prioritize doing, you know, the media, the 85 sure. South media so for much. Sure. They think that I'm never not here. Mm. <laughs> but the way that it works out, You're everywhere. that I do this is. <laughs> on the days I am here. For sure. So yeah, it be crazy. They gonna see though, I got some shit coming. You a boss, man. I don't even like to do a lot of promotion till <laughs> it comes out. For sure, for sure. But I appreciate you being a fan and you know, sticking around this long. That's Cause a lot of people now, heard me say one thing, didn't even hear the rest. I was like, fuck that nigga. <laughs> but you know, there's hours of content of me speaking on various subjects. Just how for it's sure. supposed to be. Sure. Try to put out a nice body at work so they can be like, fuck that nigga. And they're like, no, don't say that. Don't say <laughs> that. You didn't, you didn't see that one shit he said. Listen, man. Uh, and that's what I'm trying to be like. You know, I want to I wanna build multiple brands. Yeah. You know, and I want to be places where this brand is built and I can go ahead and be on the next brand. You yeah. Know? So, so you're interested in doing, like, training some 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 dogs for like some TV type shit, like shows and things of that nature? I mean, really, you know, it's about building a, a, a business that can house all all four elements. You know, I do like Chili, I'm doing her dogs, you know, um, the Hulk, stuff like that. But my vision is really to have brands and businesses that can be 
suitable for black folks. You know, like we can't just keep going to PetSmart, Petco to take our dog for sixty dollars a night. Yeah. You know, and they just keep our dog in a crate all night, and you know that that ain't the move. So, so you do like babysitting too. Overnight, boy, I got, man, I got dogs that I have for six hmm. months because they parents are actresses and actors. That's what I was just about to ask you. Do people just never not come get their dog and shit? Man, yeah. it's been close. <laughs> yeah. It's Abandonment. Been, I, I done had to be like, hey, uh, excuse me. But they still paying, right? I get my money up front. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, you just ain't gonna get your dog if you don't show up, but it's paid for already. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a hell of a business motto, especially in that type of business, because mm -hmm. you run the risk of them not coming back. You know? So if they're not going to come back, you should at least keep a card on file <laughs> and just charge them. It, it, it wouldn't even be worth the chance, man, because nowadays, you know, everybody, everybody's skeptical, but that skepticism usually leads to fear, and then fear leads into, well, I don't want to do this, yeah. you know? And so it holds a lot of people back, but that's why we got five stars on Google, because we treat people right, and I try to do everything with integrity and character. That's hard as hell to do to get five stars. Five stars, holding. That's dope though. Where can they get in touch with you and reach out to, you know, use some of the overnight boarding and grooming and training? Where can they reach you? For sure, so uh, all my information on the board, but as far as my Instagram goes, it's Pauls and Parks underscore LLC. Yeah, they want to see some videos and shit like that. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you got some crazy numbers because people love to watch dogs and cats do anything. Man, I need to get more into the social media game. And yeah, I got a you strong, do. Do got the a strong reels. family. Put them reels out, man. You give a fuck what it is. As long as That's white people tell. like yeah, to see animals. As long as it's like the dog, For sure. you good. For sure. I can't, tell, I can't, I can't tell him that dog shit. Dog love. Man. Help him, Grant. You his partner. I, I be telling him. <laughs> Make him do something, Lowe's. Come he on. Was All you had Talk to, do to him, Lowe's. <laughs> Talk to him, Lowe's. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Feeding him, washing him, you all know. that. That's another thing I'm going to hit you up, though. I'm telling you, this little dog mean as hell. And it's, it's, it's me, me. He mean. Like Sandlot mean? No, nah, he like, he was the runt. He was the runt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That type of shit. But okay. he big as hell. Yeah, man. them runts, man. They vicious, man. I know. The runts are vicious. I think he going to be bigger than we anticipated. That's always the worst. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. always the worst. He's like, he's going to be this big. He's like, what the? Nah. You're not a couch dog no more. Because after, after having the puppy two weeks, he morphed. He was already, in two weeks, he turned into a dog. <laughs> well, I was like, we didn't even get to enjoy none of this puppy <laughs> shit. For sure. Like, I think the dog, they didn't, I don't know, took it to the vet. They don't know how old he is. They were like, hey, you're lying, man. 24 to 48 months. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. For sure. Well, right. But we going, man, we, we going places, man. And, you know, being here is just a blessing because I'm here, people can understand who I really am. And I really here to talk about the business, how great it is, because hopefully y'all just see, you know, who I am as an individual. You Bro, know? We have a huge market of, of black people and various others. For sure. But now that you're taking it to this platform, this would be people reaching out to you from all kinds of places with all kinds of breeds of dogs. For sure. So study up, I'm telling you. You know, dog they gonna hit people. you by some shit you don't eat. You're like, what? <laughs> That's what Chili A did. A Siberian bull mastiff type shit. Yeah. I don't even know if you can have them in America. But Man, yeah, I done seen some crazy stuff. I done seen some crazy stuff. Dogs that shouldn't even be together, bro. Yeah. It's crazy. Came Corso with poodle hair on it. Yeah, bro. Close enough. Husky chihuahuas. Word. Boy, you know what I want? When I, when I, when I chill? <laughs> you feel me? I want to give me a hound dog, bro. No, you don't. Yes, the fuck I do. Them, no, you yeah, don't. Yeah, I'm from the country. What? We man. fucked around and actually ended up getting one. For real? Oh, man. You, mm -hmm. That was the best dog ever. Man. Bro, <laughs> bro dogs, we had a pit bull uh, mi weenie uh, dog mix one time. <laughs> <laughs> pit bull head. Weenie dog buddy. <laughs> Ask anybody, his name was Butch. Best dog we ever had. Butch, that's a, well, he was a killer, Butch. People don't even have Winnie dogs no more. You remember them? Them long ass yeah. dogs? What happened to them? They died out. For real? Boy, them dogs can't survive, boy. What's that shit called? Corgi? A Corgi. I want one of those. Them smart. I want one of those. Them smart. For sure. Hell yeah. For sure. But I be so busy, I don't have time. I'm getting me, I like, um, I want me a, I still want a fucking uh, border collie like Lassie. Mm. Just to name it, Lassie. I got a border collie over Yeah, there. I want one of those. Um, 
them crazy ass dogs that can make the cows and shit circle up. That's that's a border collie too. But the one with, they always be mixed with the crazy colors with the one blue eye and the, you know the a one blue a blue something. Yeah. 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 One of them. Um, I don't really like big ass dogs because I feel like them big Scooby Doo ass dogs. Yeah. <laughs> no, fuck that. I had a two hundred pound Great Dane over the house the other day. I ain't fucking with that. Huge. I ain't fucking. Took up my whole back seat. I had to let the seats up. I ain't fucking with that. Um, let me see one more. Uh, American Bullet, like Peter from Little Rascals. All right, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I got listen, man. I got so many people hit me up every day. I had puppies. a black lab with three legs. <laughs> man, I took he lost the leg. He his leg got ran over. The doctor couldn't save it. I took he was dog colder with, with three legs than he was with four. He was moving. <laughs> I believe in that. Rest in peace to Alabama. <laughs> and that was Alabama? Yeah, we lived in Mississippi. We had a dog named Alabama. Mm. OK. That's some country shit. That's country as a mug. That's Bro, I'm telling you, we're from the country. That's Most of our dogs, we didn't even buy them. They just kind of like wandered <laughs> in the yard and stayed. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Them real I don't feel like you're a here. black person if you never had a dog named Blackie <laughs> or Smokey. Facts. Midnight. A couple of them. We had two dogs. It was a, we had a, we named them Ike and Tina. Hmm. What's the funniest dog names I ever heard? The funniest dog name I ever heard, nigga, had a dog named Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> My boy Domingo named his dog Bitch. That's crazy. Hey, bro, that's wild as that's fuck. Crazy. So when he was like, Bitch, sit your head. <laughs> it, really, it, it fit. That's I what had a lady call her dog Sir. Sir. Uh, yeah, like Sir, come here. Sir, no Sir. Like her dog name was Sir. Big old pit bull, like you was talking yeah. about. The name was Sir. White people have some strange names. So Smith and Weston, like white folks. Captain Biscuits. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Mr. Chewy. Mr. Chewy. Shit like that. I think it's crazy when people give dogs human names. I mean. Devante. Frank. <laughs> hey, Bill. <laughs> Alex. I know his last his name was dog Frank. Frank. Yeah. That's, I don't we know. do this I shit. I, I thought you was gonna bring something today. Man, Dad told but me. But I heard to. you wanted to bring too many. You couldn't just bring like two little ones. Or I asked to bring one dog. What? It was a. It was. A, it was one of the Hulk puppies. Oh. Yeah. I asked him to bring one dog. Come back. Safety. Bring it. I want to see that dog. I'd be more than willing to, bro. Yeah. Bring that motherfucker back. Please. Bring as big as shit, ain't it? He about seven months old. Yeah. He's. he's How's he's, his temperament? Real dorsal, man. Real, real, real cool, relaxed. They real chill, for real, real chill, real, real yeah. chill. They real, know real they can't chill. be fucked with. That's why. No, they, they, they just chill, man. They just. Real yeah, but when you bring it, you got to sit them over there, you know, because I watch when animals attack and shit. You just be having a normal ass interview, and then you look off and get your shit <laughs> devoured. <laughs> That's all we worry about. Just for sure, not for sure. Yeah, I ain't even like gonna that. do y'all like that. I wouldn't even bring a dog in here that you wasn't socialized by right. Insurance. If I can't walk it off a leash at Home Depot, I wouldn't bring you it. You bring here. the leash, all that. <laughs> <laughs> what if we were doing an interview, the dog just sitting there scratching his big ass nuts? Like, hey, gotta wrap this up, man. <laughs> wrap this up, bro. For sure, you doing too much, my boy. Well, nah, man, for sure. We, we got plans, man. We got plans. Whether you think from, from uh, to mega stores to the restaurant game and to the industry where, you know, a lot of people want to, I ain't going to say my, I'm going to show you off camera, but we got whole blueprints and we got whole ideas. We really, I'm really doing this shit, like for real. I've been five, six years in the making and it's been five years just to get here, but I got a five, 10, 15, 20 year plan, everything revolving around my brand. Man, let's open a kennel. I'm with you, bro. We're going to get online and we're going to find rare ass dog breed that ain't nobody got that everybody want. I'm gonna tell you, that's money too. I, I ain't even coming over there. I'm gonna just let you do it. I hear you. Silent partners. I hear you. Yeah. I'm with it. All right, I'm bet. with it. Let's do it. Uh, it's gonna be that plus more. All right, bet. You all have to. You got. You got it then. That's what I'm here for, man. All right. Well, Grant, you in? Yeah, for sure. All right. So we're gonna do the kennel and shit. That's what phase of that is that of the plan. It could be now. It's already a kennel established. You just gotta find a dog. Let's sit down and find a dog that you want. We go ahead, boom. Matter of fact, shout no, out to Pretty Fish Bulldogs. We need to find some profitable shit. You already got enough dogs that you like personally. The dogs I have right now, 50 grand a piece, 60 grand a piece. 100. 120, okay. So we, let's, let's do something, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. 
Hell yeah. Teach the dog how to write his name and shit. And cursive. Exactly. <laughs> With his back foot. Yeah, big plans, man. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Big plans. Well, shit, since we're talking big money, we might as well. Calls and parts. 85 South Show. J O N. Play us some music, man. Let's take a picture. Ready?